In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Handbrake, which is a free open source video transcoder to embed, to burn in, to hard code, whichever term you want to use, the subtitles to the video itself. And Handbrake uh, is a free software that works bo both on uh, Windows and Apple-based computers. You do not have as much uh, flexibility to customize the way the subtitles are rendered, but this is by far the easiest method for someone who's just um, learning how to embed subtitles to a video. So the first thing you want to do is if you're watching this on YouTube, click in the description on the link to go to translatesermons.com to the lesson page. And on that page, you're going to see uh, a link to go to download Handbrake. Go ahead and click on that and then you're going to have a link to download the demo video file and download the demo SRT file if those are helpful for you. If you have your own video and SRT file then just use that um, as you follow along. So on the Handbrake website you can download for Macintosh or for Windows. Go ahead and click on that link, download that and get that installed. Okay once you've installed Handbrake go ahead and open it. And before me is what you should be seeing, um, at least the version that I'm making this video tutorial on. Here it says file, open a single video file. So let's click that. And you can open um, the demo video file that you downloaded. And it loads that in there. Now before you load in the subtitles, a lot could be said about the quality in which you want to render this out. Um, that's going to affect how long, depending on the power of your computer, that it's going to take to render the video. Um, the file size, if you're somewhere and you do not have high uh, powered internet speed to upload this to YouTube, then you do not want to render it in um, uh, high quality. So you could go to Presets, General, and in this case, the actual video itself is a 1280 by 720. So we obviously don't want to render it at 1080. And so we're going to go ahead and do fast 720 at 30 frames a second. So that's the preset that I'm going to use. And I, I like the quality that you get and the time that it takes. And so we'll leave a line audio and video um, at the start. And then we're going to click over to subtitles. Now, first, I'm going to delete this foreign audio scan. Uh, we don't need that. And then I will click import subtitle. And I'm going to import the SRT demo file. Now, uh, I've seen different people not change the language here, but for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and change it to Spanish by hitting E multiple times to get to Espanol. And the character code is UTF-8, which is, that is the format of this SRT. It's saved under UTF-8 in Notepad. If, if it's not saved under UTF-8 and you render this right now, you're going to see nothing on the video. Um, so make sure you have the file saved correctly. And to save that, um, correctly. It's just a matter of going to File, Save As, and right down here you, you select UTF-8 and I'm selecting with BOM. And so that that's how you change that. So we need to click Burn In and that will obviously burn in, embed, hard code, uh, those are synonymous terms, the subtitles to the video. And we need to go ahead and select the destination and so I'm going to save this as Spanish God doesn't bring our sins back and I'm gonna put mp4 and now I'm good to hit start encode okay it's finished rendering and I'm gonna click on Q statistics and you can see here the start time was 538 and it finished at 540. So on the computer that I have that took approximately two minutes for a, I believe it is a five minute video. So that's not too bad. 
um, of render time. So let's go ahead and open the file. He had no and there you can see connection with sins. The subtitles are embedded he on the video. Connected to it because he loved us. Not made him a debtor, but made now, him as a of sinner. The, Paul says it with. Uh, now, as of the present, there's not a way to uh, that I'm aware of to modify the font, make it bolder, or change the amount of shadow. But overall, the way it, it renders is, is very readable for a user and not too hard on the eyes. A boldness. A boldness. He made him sin. So that is one method uh, by using this free software to burn in and embed and hard code the subtitles into the video. Uh, for other methods uh, that are using free software or for methods using paid software, be sure to check out the other lessons in the course on translatesermons.com.